Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. My name is Dr. Iyabo. I'm the Money to Honey coach. I'm that one-stop coach that will help you make money and will also help you date wisely and marry with wisdom. Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not yet subscribed, you already know what I'm about to say. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share my platform with your friends and family and other women, single, married or divorced, who may really benefit from my platform. And if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, make sure you find me on Instagram at Dr. Yabo at D-R-I-Y-A-B-O. Make sure you follow me there. And my platform here basically is everything about relationships and dating and also about business life, entrepreneurship, and also, honestly, everything lifestyle, how to take care of yourself, how to look good, how to be confident. So let's get into it. Today, we're discussing seven reasons why you shouldn't pursue a man okay seven reasons why you shouldn't chase a man same thing chase pursue same thing okay because many women do this and it backfires so let's just dive in all right first reason first reason why you should not pursue a man you end up doing his job for him right you end up doing his job for him what's the point of pursuing a man when he should be doing it no matter what the feminists say and what the feminist movement says i'm a feminist but i'm a feminist on a different level i'm not a feminist who's going to say you should chase a man or propose to a man i don't belong to that mindset okay if you start pursuing and chasing a man you're doing his job for him you are doing his job for him you're really wasting your time and i'm telling you how will you know if he's interested in you? Okay? A man pursues you when he's interested in you, right? And if a man is interested in you, I'm telling you, nothing will stop him from chasing you. Okay? If you're on the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, he will climb up that Mount Kilimanjaro to get you. So if you start pursuing a man, you're doing his job for him. And you'll never know if he's interested in you or not because he should be pursuing you. That's number one. Number two, number two, as simple as ABC. If you pursue a man, you lose your value. You lose your value. And what is your value? Your value is your feminine superpower. Yes, your value as a woman, number one, is your feminine superpower. Once you start to pursue and chase a man, you start to get into your masculinity because pursuing is for men. Men like pursuing, they like chasing, they like looking for what it is that they want. Why are men even better businessmen? Why are men better business uh, entrepreneurs? Because they like to pursue something. They like to chase something. So if you start to pursue a man, you lose your value. And that value that you lose is your feminine superpower. Okay, once you start to pursue and chase a man, you start to exaggerate your masculinity. Us women, if you haven't watched my videos about feminine and masculine, you should make sure you binge on all my videos. But women, as women, we have some feminine powers, we have some masculine powers. Now it's up to us to know when to use it. Like I have both my masculine powers, I use it for my business, for my businesses. I put in my dedication, I pursue my businesses, I pursue my entrepreneurship. I use that to make money and to make myself financially independent. However, however, if I start using that energy in my relationships, I'm going to end up with a man who isn't good or I will stay single for the rest of my life, right? I got married last year. But my feminine powers is what I use in my relationship when I'm around my husband, all of that. It doesn't mean that you're pretending it just means that you know when to use which power. So once you start to pursue a man, you lose your value, your feminine superpower, you give it up and you start to embrace your um, uh, masculine power, which is very, very repulsive to high quality men. If you want a high quality man, you don't want to be this overly masculine person who is chasing him. So that's number two. You lose your value, which is your feminine superpower. Number three, basically, you miss out on the good feeling of being pursued by a man. It feels very good. I'm telling you, I've been pursued by many, time, by many men 
up to this age of 51 even till today that i'm married they still pursue me they still send me dms on instagram and linkedin i joke about it i tell my husband you know it's like it's funny to me that they see pictures of me and my husband but they're still pursuing me so it's funny it feels good right there's nothing bad about it but if you start pursuing men you miss out on that you miss out on how good it feels to have a man be so interested in you that he's pursuing you everywhere. He wants you, he's planning the dates, he's giving you nice flowers, you know, as the relationship goes on, he may even start to plan trips. You know, you become a priority in his life. If you've gotten so used to chasing men, you're going to miss out on that good feeling that women who know how to sit in their feminine power and not pursue men, you're going to miss out on it. You'll never know what it feels like. You'll never know what it feels like to just be chased by a man and feel good about it, right? Number four, your self-esteem will take a big hit. So this is a double-sided, uh, what's it called, a point, right? First of all, most women who pursue men already have low self-esteem. If your self-esteem is very high, if you're confident about who you are, you're not scared that, you know, you may not find a boyfriend, you may not find a husband, you're busy in your life, you have good things going on, you're pursuing your business, you're pursuing your purpose, you have a good, nice, peaceful life, you won't be pursuing a man. So first of all, to start with, the kind of women who pursue men are already women who have low self-esteem. So imagine if you already have low self-esteem, you're pursuing a man, and then you start to pursue him, and he starts to play games with you, like he sees that you're really interested in him, so then he starts to ignore you, or he starts to play games, like if you text him, he won't reply for one week, or if you text him, he'll wait for you to text him three or four more times before he replies. Do you know what's gonna happen? your self-esteem will go even lower because you'll start to doubt yourself. You'll start to think, oh, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not pretty enough. That's when women will start with all the plastic surgery. When they're pursuing a man and they feel he's not interested, they'll start to get their nose done, their lips done, extra boobs, whatever. That's not what's going to get a man to like you. So, your self-esteem will take a big deep, deep, because you're already with low self-esteem. That's why you're pursuing him. But then your self-esteem that is already low will then crash. Bad. Terrible. I don't have to expand on that. You can already tell. Because when you're chasing a man, most men know women who are chasing them. And what they'll do is if you're chasing him, he'll start to put himself on this pedestal where he won't reply you on time. He will only reply you when he has time or when he wants sex or when he wants your money. And then your self-esteem will crash even more. Number five, oh my goodness, you will get tired. Let me pause here. You will get drained. You will get exhausted. You won't be able to sleep. You'll be worrying about him because you're pursuing him. He's still not really responding like he should. You won't be taking care of yourself. You won't be sleeping. You'll be eating wrong. You won't exercise. You may get depressed. You'll be complaining. You'll be worrying. Women who pursue men, they get very, very drained and exhausted. It will affect their work. It will affect their business, you know, because they're so focused on this guy. They want him by force. They think if they text him 10 times a day or they call him or they buy him gifts. Some even buy men gifts that they are not married to or they give the man money. Some of you are single. You're on dating sites. I hear messages. You guys send me your messages about how you're meeting guys on dating sites and they're asking you for money and you're giving them money. You want to buy a man with money and then you say that after you gave him money, he blocked you and you can't get him to respond anymore. Yeah, because all he wanted was your money. Because you were pursuing him, he knew that he had put you in the pursuing phase and he knew that, okay, this woman is interested in me. And then he asked you for money and boom, you gave him money. You don't have money. You, you are the same woman who doesn't have money for business coaching to get your life in order. You'll say you don't have money to pay me for business coaching, 
but you'll go to a dating site to give a man money because you're pursuing him and then he blocks you and he disappears okay so basically women who pursue men they get drained they get tired and that backfires because if you get drained and you get tired it's going to show in your demeanor you'll get more desperate you'll think if you do more do more do more do more do more it will work but it doesn't work the more you do the more he doesn't commit to you the more he plays around with you and the more you get tired it's a terrible situation to be in number six is similar to number five you just get yourself into this emotional roller coaster you're confused <laughs> you know you get confused you get overwhelmed you start questioning yourself maybe it's because i don't text him often maybe it's because i text him and i don't call him uh, maybe it's because i haven't started cooking for him maybe there you go and ask your friends what should i do where did you get that boob job let me get a boob job let me do this let me get another kind of weave let me do my nose you know let me do my all the things you guys are doing these days removing fat from your waist and putting it on your hips then you get yourself into this never-ending emotional roller coaster for a man who will never take you seriously and if you end up marrying that man after chasing him <laughs> your problems have just started because if if a man proposes to you after you were chasing and pursuing him okay that man is just going to use you mistreat you you're going to be the slave in that marriage you're going to be the one doing everything you're going to be the money provider the cleaner the everything and that because that's that's the foundation you set okay that's the foundation you said but the thing is most of these men are not even going to marry you they're just going to dump you but the ones who are smart or they just want to use you yes they'll propose to you some men do that they'll say because they, they are like oh this woman is all over me this is the kind of woman i need let me marry her just put her there as an object as my married woman but play around with other women on the side that happens to a lot of women if you build the foundation of your relationship on pursuing and then you marry that man 99 percent likely that's how your marriage will continue you're going to continue to be the doer the doer the doer the doer you're going to pay for everything he's going to say he doesn't have money and he'll be using his money on other women outside so you're going to get yourself into this emotional roller coaster you're going to start doubting yourself you'll be thinking all sorts of false things as if everything is your fault as if maybe if you do more if you do more he will you know he will respond but he won't he won't because you've gotten yourself into the masculinity and then number seven common sense once you start to pursue a man you're going to have to know you're going to have to keep it up again similar to number six you will have to keep up the pursuing and once you stop pursuing your relationship is going to tank because once you are not pursuing anymore he has not been used to pursuing that's where the problem is going to start right you because you are going to get tired of pursuing at some point and if you end up marrying that man just know that you're in your marriage you are going to be the one doing everything and doing the pursuing it happens all the time so these are the seven reasons why you should just relax be patient you know work on yourself go and watch all my relationship videos how to make yourself into a high quality woman okay there's so many things but this video is mainly the seven reasons why you should absolutely not pursue a man if a, let me tell you something women if a man wants you he will jump over the biggest ocean to, to get to you i told you guys about my relationship i messaged my husband on match one time i just said oh hello i see you're from england and just a very short statement and after that he did all the pursuing he asked for my phone number we started texting he asked me to go on a date i met his dad on the third on the third date and he started doing everything i hardly used to call him i hardly used to initiate some of you initiate texts initiate calls if a man wants you he will initiate all of that i'm telling you you don't have to do the work you just have to sit in your femininity and this man will pursue you i'm telling you so 
share this video with your friends because it's really really important i thought to myself i'm like i get so many so many relationship questions with all these women that are pursuing men i don't think i've done a video before about the reasons not to pursue a man now you have it now you have it so share it with all your friends and family it's very important thank you very much if you loved this video please love it comments are always welcome even if it's just emojis you don't even have to write anything just give me some three hearts comments are very important for my youtube channel growth share my channel if you love my channel share it with your community please make sure you subscribe you put your notification bell on and please comment below thanks for watching love you all god bless bye bye